And it's great because now you've got all these pipelines of American workers, but because the cost of living is so cheap where they live, you don't have to pay them as much. Of using an SDR team to make outbound calls uh, to set demos versus running ads. Uh, me and my partner go sort of go back on and forth on the, this because he wants to use like, well, you know, SDR is actually hard to find. <laughs> you know, what does you know, SDR stand for? Uh, sales development reps. Oh, what, what were you saying, Alex? Uh, can I interject? Yeah. So, so my take on it for running ads is uh, I think you should go the organic. There's so many different ways to um, generate leads that are free as opposed to running ads. I never think that you should start your agency by running ads. I scaled my agency to 75K a month doing Instagram DMs, literally just messaging people on Instagram. So depending on what uh, you know vertical you're in. So for example, mine was mortgage, right? So what we did was we looked up mortgage meme pages and who the hell is going to follow a mortgage meme page? Literally nobody, but a mortgage broker, right? So we would DM them with my offer. Hey, you know, uh, uh, I, I noticed you're a mortgage broker. You know, would it be helpful if I could book you an extra 10 appointments a month, right? Or whatever that is. So there's, there's Instagram DMs, but then there's also a uh, LinkedIn. Um, it's a combination of what's called sales navigator and uh, meet Alfred, which is an automation tool. Um, and basically what that'll do is you can look up, for example, if I was wa wanting to look up realtors in a specific zip code, it'll give me a list of 2000 realtors, let's say in San Jose, California, or whatever it is. And uh, you put that list into meet Alfred, you can build out a campaign, literally a drip campaign uh, in sequences, you could build it a year out. So these people get messages for a whole year. And um, so, so my point is, is there's a lot of alternatives to that. In addition to that, when you do hire an SDR, here's a little hack that I love. If you want to hire an SDR from the United States, it's going to cost you a, a lot of money. It's going to cost you a salary. Um, and uh, at the same time, virtual assistants in the Philippines, people hear accents, they get a little skeptical. So what we did was we went to expat Facebook groups. So expats oh. in, in Colo Americans working in Colombia, Brazil, uh, uh, Guatemala, Panama. And what we would do is we would find these Americans and offer them a job and we'd only have to pay them $1,200 a month. So you're getting American workers at the cost of VAs, maybe a little bit more expensive, um, but it's, it's way cheaper than hiring somebody from the US. It's better quality. It's the best bang for your buck. So I like going into those expat groups uh, and offering work and, you know, and, and, you know, message the moderator because the moderators love it. They want their group to be useful. They want it to be a resource for their people. So if you message the moderator and say, hey, look, I have an opportunity here for um, uh, Americans. We're looking for Americans. Uh, the job pays $1,200. What do you think? They're going to be like, dude, that's awesome. I'd love to spread that to the group and they'll do it on your behalf. And it's great because now you've got all these pipelines of American workers but because the cost of living is so cheap where they live, you don't have to pay them as much. That's a, that's awesome. That's, I, I didn't see that coming. You're a, you're a creative bugger. I was just going to say um, one, one piggyback observation off of what Alex is saying. I do see that people do like a lot, like try and do a lot of different things. You really only need to do one thing until you get like a hundred clients, right? Or pick your number. Maybe it's 50, whatever right. your number is. Like you don't got to, you know, you don't got to bounce around and do all these different things. Uh, that video I had uh, of my buddy, uh, Nick Robbins, uh, dude, that guy just cold emailed. He, he, he did video prospecting on like 20 people a day. And all he would do would be like, have a VA scour the internet, Google these different things and find who was offering these very specific granular. You guys have heard me say that a bajillion times thing that he was offering to those people. In his case, it was a uh, visco supplementation for knee injections, right? And so that's like super grand. You can Google that in Los Angeles, in San Francisco, whatever it is. And then they'd have a list and he would just get on, do a loom video and say, hey, doc, so-and-so, it looks like you uh, offer this. If you can handle 10 to 15 more per month, we have a really cool program. Let me show you how it works on a loom video. 
Okay. And you keep them less than two minutes and you just do 20 of those a day. Dude, he blew up. The guy blew up just by doing that one thing. Okay? Would, he, would he do an indiv individualized? Uh, yes, um... he would. And, and I have a whole script and protocol. If you go to my YouTube channel where it, uh, I have the videos, watch them sell, right? There's a link down there. You can get the whole script, everything there and just do that. I mean, I like so what Alex is doing is kind of like a DM version of that, except for he created a little bit of like a fly trap to where they come to him. Also a G move. Like you get creative, but you only need one thing. Thank you.